Hello, and welcome back to Resident Evil 7, where today we are going to continue playing through the End of Zoe DLC in VR. And we're going to look at these moths. Yeah, we've got to get Zoe back from that swamp man. The, the moldy boxer. Who we still have no reason to... Or no... Oh, it's a fake. Still gonna punch it, though. That one's not fake. Yeah, we, we've been given no reason as to why the moldy boxer is a boxer. And I would really like to know just what creates a molded who is proficient in the martial arts. And hey, I'll take a free stick. Looks like there's nothing else for us up here. It was just, just the one spear. Yep, just the one spear. I guess it's a place where we can hide from a gator if we need to. What is that? Oh, that's metal. So that we can make a spear. We've already got spears. Nothing hiding in this fridge, just openable for no reason. Odd. Yeah, I guess that raised platform was for, like, if we didn't have any spears when we got here, and if we got the attention of the gator who was around here, we could make a dash for it and maybe get there in time. That's my guess. Looks like I can open this microwave. Someone was microwaving a crawfish. Okay, we're going to end up fighting something here, I can tell. Yep, okay. It's just a gator, though. Because them giving us these raised platforms in this wide open watery area, that just told me that, hey, there's going to be a reason for these raised platforms. Gotcha. But now I appear to be out of spears, which is not great. And yet, now I can make another. Alright, so if we can get over there, we get some more metal. Which was probably meant to be combined with this stick to make a spear, but we had extra metal from earlier. Maybe we were meant to avoid one of the gators that we've encountered so far. I wonder if we can avoid that one. Because if we could get over there without getting this guy's attention, that might be good for us. But it looks like he moves around way too much for us to be able to reliably get over there. But then again, maybe if we go now, just keep an eye. Oh. Ooh, two of them over there. That's just mean. But one's facing that way. So we only have to kill this one. Because this guy's not facing us, so... Maybe we can get by him? Get up! Nope. Apparently they'll turn around. I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised, but... It'd be nice if I could just walk up to a gator and smack it around. Because, like, didn't in his journal he say that he did exactly that? If I could get by one of the gators, 
That would be ideal. Because apparently we need two spears to get access to those boxes. It looks like this guy wants to just go in circles right here. And we're not fast enough in the water to be able to take advantage of the brief time he's facing away. So... Dead he is. Maybe I can avoid killing that one, though. Because if he's just going to go in circles right there, he's only cutting us off from that metal. Which we don't currently need. So yeah, if we can avoid him by going this way, then maybe we can save these two spears for the gators over there. And then we'll be happy campers. So this guy gets a spear right to the dome. And then this guy's going to turn around, isn't he? If he turns around, we spear him. And then we can hop up here and grab whatever the heck's in this. Really? Just a stick? Well, I guess it also is a path. Yeah, it keeps us from having to go over there. I wonder, can I make it to that metal without being mutilated? Maybe. Because that guy is over there, though. Yeah, as long as he stays over there. There we go, now we've got this. The gator who was patrolling over here seems to have just stopped existing, which is good. That gator is now a non-issue for us. Because we can just go over here. Yeah, you stay over there, buddy. Those guys... Seem to have a bit too tight of a turn radius, though. Alright. So, I'm just going to take a real quick look over here, see if that guy's actually guarding anything of value. Or if it's just another path up, which it is. And honestly, probably a better one, because it would have only cost one spear rather than two. So yeah, it probably would have been better to take this path, kill the, just that one. Oh well. We made our bed, and now we must lie in it. I wonder, will this fridge have anything nice, and will we not have to kill anything to, to get at it? Okay, probably worth it. Glad we had just enough spears. Though that is at this point two spears that I have ended up wasting in the process of either just plain missing and being unable to retrieve them, or in killing two gators where one would have served. What is this? Oh. We just get a free steak bomb, huh? So how do steak bombs work? Do we just... Okay, so they're remote bombs. We're going to put that right there, because we like having our remote bombs and other bombs on down on the D-pad. All right. So now, I guess we just continue on. Gator? So, we need to not fall down. Got it. Ooh, but look at all those spears. 
Oh, is this going to, like, break under us? Because it looks like they're trying to make it almost mandatory to fall. And we want very much to not fall, because we have no way to fend off this gator if we do. And yet, we seem to be doing just fine. I feel like I'd be able to use this chain for something, but I guess it's just there as set dressing. Hello? Seriously, why can I not ever stomp them? Do I have to, like, knock them down by punching their legs in order to stomp them? did hear a third. first aid med. Get rid of that red border. Though next time I'm hurt like that and out of combat I should see whether or not I actually can use my critters. Yeah, it says eating them as is also replenishes health and I've got way more critters than I do chem fluids. So I kind of want to get over there, grab those three spears and whatever's in those boxes. Oh, someone's hiding behind that, are they? Wow, look at all the spears around here. There's going to be like a giant gator, isn't there? Like, there's going to be a reason for all these spears to exist. That much is evident. Okay, so there's a gator over there, which we need to get rid of in order to get those spears. Uh, the gator over here, maybe we can get by by just not going that way. No, he seems to be coming this way. But maybe we can get up in time? Okay, good. So yeah, we can't just ignore that gator. Boxer effigy, three spears, and some metal. All for only the cost of one, maybe two spears? With one of them being paid after the fact? I'll take it. Now, the fact that there was a gator going around down here makes me wonder if maybe there's anything to be grabbed in there, because, like, why else would a gator be patrolling there if not to try and keep us from grabbing something nice? Yeah, we need to kill this guy. He wouldn't have let us up here, I don't think. I mean, maybe he would have been slow enough, but... Uh, is there anything nice to be had down there? Because I don't see anything nice. Is it just a punishment for, oh, you accidentally fell. Now you must die. That sort of thing? Or was there actually something to be gotten? So is this just, yeah, it's so that we can toss a spear at this guy? I guess it's worth it. 
So there's definitely some molded in there. So do I have any other options than to make sure this gets fully busted down when he's looking away? There we go. Ooh, I see he's got a quadruped buddy out there. I do not like quadruped buddies. Ooh, and it's an open door. So maybe we let him go right on by. And then we get him. Hi. Uh, just let me finish with this guy first, okay? There. Thanks for waiting your turn. Punches get ever stronger. Yeah, we're at... Depending on whether it's additive or multiplicative, we may be right around 22% stronger fisties. Alright, I'll take these spears. And looks like we've got no choice but to jump down here and then hop right back up. Uh, considering all the spears around, I imagine there's going to be gators. Yep, there's gators. Ah, friends. Oh, and there's a champion effigy. Eh, this guy's by himself. As long as we don't get knocked off the edge, we've got nothing to worry about. Thank you for waiting your turn. Though we know there's another guy over there. So, is there some angle from which we can get a shot at him while not becoming gator food? Oh, he's just a regular guy. We don't got to worry too much about him. Let's eat some critters. Oh, tasty. Not bad. Did you really have to just load that right in the mouth there? In first person? <laughs> feel like that was a little unnecessary. So I do want that champion effigy. I don't know if it'll be worth all the spears that we're going to have to use, and I'm going to get these spears before we even try, just in case. Hey, buddy. What are you doing here by yourself as just a normal guy? Would have been kind of nice if he fell off and became gator food. Because, like, if he could have served as a distraction for the gators, then we might have been able to more easily get the champion effigy. Gotcha. Alright, hopefully that was the only one of those. 
Oh, there's another guy. Ah, but he's just one of these. We don't gotta care too much about you. Okay, maybe we do. Okay, so yeah, the first gator was just a punishment for if we fell down. That much is clear. Oh, let's eat another... Oh. Poor guy. I know I wouldn't like to be ripped in half and eaten while I'm still mostly alive. So it looks like... Costs three spears to get that champion effigy. I suppose that's an okay price. Especially considering how many spears they gave us just outright. Whoop. Almost fell. Oh, you've got a friend now? Okay, they're both dead. Nothing hiding down there by the look of things. Is this just here to serve as a choke point if we rushed ahead? Actually, I guess it was probably to hide some of those molded who came after us. And I bet there's a save point in there. Yep. Well, let's make use of it. And grab a boxer effigy. And what's under the rock? A tasty, tasty centipede. I know it's the sound of leaves rustling just from the wind, but I still don't trust it. All right, what manner of pleasantness is going to be up in this graveyard mausoleum place? Oh boy. Resident Evil games never have anything bad happen in graveyards. Okay, there's a crate for us to punch open. Ooh, free first aid med. That's actually quite nice. Is there really nothing in this graveyard? Is the graveyard truly safer than outside it? Also, who's crating up centipedes? Whoever they are, they've got weird taste. Can't fight the mold. Okay. All right. Get out of the way, guys. There we go. Had to make sure that I exploded the big guy. Um, hmm. Can I just use this time to punch this down and not have to kill them? 
That seems safer. Oh. Need health. He's too tall and too vomity. Like, I don't feel like it's safe for me to go after him unless... Is punching his legs the way to go? While he was knocked down like that, I was probably meant to... Like, no, get off, get off, stop! Dang it. If only he hadn't grabbed my hand. So yeah, I feel like going in to the the big fat guy crouched is the way to go. Because he seems unable to hit us with most of his stuff if we're crouched right up next to him. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure when we had him staggered, if we were standing up or in front of him or something, we might have been able to do a finisher. Or something. Just making sure that we've got all of the nice things that we can have. And in fact, let's get one more nice thing. And then some other nice things. Though, I'll see if I can get rid of the, the fatty's friends first, because if we can do that, then we might be able to more effectively target the fatty. So yeah, there's him. Was really hoping I'd be able to catch Fatty and his buddies with a single explosion. Now, why did I flinch back towards him? That seems bad. Okay, so it doesn't let us finish him, it just lets us punch him in the face. Ow. Dang, stop with the vomiting! I know it's kind of your whole deal, but... If you could find it in your heart to do not. Is, is he dead? Why is he... Why was he stumbling backward? Can I eat this in combat? Not effectively. Okay. Is he dead now? He better be. Tasty grub. And in fact, another tasty grub. And now a tasty centipede to just load on in while it's still alive. And another one. Like, couldn't you at least crush their heads so that they don't wiggle around while you're eating them? Because again, those things have fangs, venomous fangs. Just shoving it face first into your mouth can't be safe. Also, we just got taxed hard on the healing resources. But I kept my spears, so I mean, it's not all bad. Hello. All right, 
right, what's in here? Oh, I'm... Oh! Zoe's here, which means that the Swamp Boxer will be here. So we're gonna have to punch him. It's a goddamn sacrilege. <gasps> Kick him? You got legs. Is it Jack? Jack? What the fuck? So Jack didn't die. Even after we used the thing on him? Hey, hey, no, don't. My vision was obscured because of where it put the freaking camera game. God damn it. Oh, hell, Jackie boy. What's happened to you? Also, how'd I get out of the coffin and to here? From where? Well... Here, I thought we were actually gonna fight the Swamp Boxer, but no. It's just a cutscene. So wait, we used the serum on Jack and it turned him to dust, but he lived? And is now in a more humanoid form? With apparently the affinity for bugs that Marguerite had? Hmm. Well, it's time for this episode to end, so join us next time when we head down that path and maybe we'll say hi to Jack. See you then, friends.